Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 16 of my starting from scratch series and uh, so the first thing I go and do is purchase myself a Thomas Muller, um, a center forward, someone who can just replace Podolski when he's tired or injured, um, someone who can still pick up 9 chemistry instead of having to pull um, either uh, Shirley or Obasi down to center forward role who usually only picks up about 6-7 chemistry so uh, it's important to have a direct replacement but for some reason Thomas Muller he's got two dots over his U and uh, it always reminds me of the ice cream uh, Hagen does so um, I, I, that was a really random thought but I thought I just thought I'd let you know hopefully um, his goals are just as good as the ice cream if the uh, okay, that doesn't really work at all. Uh, anyways, moving on, and um, we've got a Bong Lahore and Storage uh, playing up top. We got Downing and Lennon left and right mid. Um, once again, a pretty pacey team. Storage, who is just an absolute monster in this game, and uh, his tramp was denied there. There is no way he is pull pulling a tramp on me. Um, throughout FIFA 12, I have developed my anti-tramp system, and uh, I might show it to you guys. Maybe um, it pretty much works all the time. Um, there are a few exceptions where people just get past me, you know, they just use that Abong Lahore and uh, go straight past me, but um, a lot of the time it does work and it does prevent uh, a tramp, so um, let me know, what do you guys like to do when uh, when you're, uh, when you're, you know, you can obviously see the tramp coming and you're just sitting there nervously watching saying, please don't tramp, please don't tramp, and the guy just goes ahead and does it. Um, I know it's a, it's a real heartbreaking moment for myself, but uh, let me know what you guys to do, uh, do to deal with it or uh, do to punish him because if he scores a tramp, Tramp on me, for example, if I ever got scored against, my next, um, oh, well, the rest of my goals tend to be, um, you know, you get the shush celebration combination um, with uh, three replays and um, maybe a quick pass around the back just to piss you off um, if you decide to do that. Anyways, I come up against this Russian league side and... Um, you know, that kind of, when I saw this, it reminded me, one of my very first starting from scratch um, seasons, I suppose, was a Russian league side. I believe it was the very first one, actually. And uh, one of the things I was thinking about doing is, because, you know, the Bundesliga, it, it, it's been it's been good fun playing with it. It doesn't exactly suit my play style. Um, I'm not too sure what it is about it, but I just don't seem to do nearly as well as when I do with other teams. And I've really, really wanted to make a Russian league team. So, I was thinking, guys, would it would you guys enjoy this if what I did was, you know, I keep going with this Bundesliga just for a little bit longer or, uh, you know, it depends on the response on this video. And then I, I just sell all these players and then go and try and purchase a um, new team. And each time I'm trying to make a bit of profit, a bit more profit. And um, every time I sell or buy a team and... Um, you know, I'm just looking to make ways of uh, getting a bit of profit so I can get better players and things like that. And um, kind of just make this series a little bit longer, not by keeping it just in one single league. Because I do feel as though that kind of limits it a lot. And, uh, you know, at the moment the only thing I can really do to uh, make coins is do a bit of trading and uh, keep playing games. But I, what I really would like to do is, you know, swap it up, give you guys a bit of variation in the gameplay. Um, allow you guys to watch me play with like a Russian league side and, you know, I, I just feel so that would be a lot more fun uh, for me to do as well and uh, in, you guys would enjoy it as viewers anyways Wagner Love I mean he is in FIFA 11 he was a good player but I feel as though in FIFA 12 I mean he is an absolute tank him Dumbia Oberfemi Martins all speedy little brats I'm being serious um all really good at uh, attacking and you know, uh, I, they definitely, they'd probably be featuring in my squad in the, uh, if I made a Russian League side, which I probably would do. Uh, but let me know, guys, because you know what, I think I will, I will probably go with that idea of uh, just swapping up leagues and things like that, selling the players I have now. Um, uh, or another thing I could do, I, things are just coming to my mind as I do this commentary, um, is that I keep this team and uh, I just use the coins that I make from using this team, um, you know, because I think I have about 8,000 at the moment uh, because I'm obviously uh, playing this as we go now, so uh, I just came off playing this game here. Um, but yeah, so I mean, let me know, I mean, I have 8,000 now, should I start investing into a Russian League side so that I end up having, I suppose you could say, two teams? Um, I have my Bundesliga side and obviously any other side that I decide to make because, uh, I don't know, it could be interesting to see me build a library and I can just pick and choose what team I'd like to use, um, you know, and do things like that. But, I mean, you guys might not understand a single thing I'm rambling on about by now, but uh, let me know because I really am interested in uh, spicing up this Road to Glory or starting from scratch as I call it. And look at that, 90th minute goal from Wagner Love. I mean, that was just filthy stuff. That was um, from what he did there. He just turned it on the... Um, 
first hit it first time and it kind of just like slowly p rolled into the back of the net but i mean that was a big scoring game that one seven five and fortunately i won it there it was a lot of back and forth kind of like a tug of war um and it was just um it was an exciting game and big scoring games like that are always a lot of fun um, another thing I really appreciate you guys could do is just take a look at the description. A lot of you guys probably know Nepenthes, but I'm sure there are a couple of you out there who probably might have not heard of him. Um, but if you'd like to check out his channel, it'll be in the description. I plan on doing a series with him. And uh, all you guys, in my last video, you guys were like, Cal, you're doing the series with Nepenthes. I don't know how you little mind readers managed to uh, figure that one out. But, you know, I underestimated you big boys. And um, you guys all seem to know. So, um... Yeah, let me know uh, in the comments what sort of series you'd like to see me and him do. And um, we have a couple ideas stored up, but you know, comments and things like that are all appreciated. Now, I know I've asked you guys to answer quite a few things this episode, but uh, you know, if you could just leave a nice detailed comment, then that would be much, much appreciated. And look at this guy, I'm assuming he was just a little too mad. And uh, you know, if someone goes AFK, I'm always going to score against them. That's just the asshole I am. And uh, you know, right there, manages to uh, finesse it away from Big Podolski, the German beast who is uh, rumored to go to Arsenal nothing uh, set in stone but I would really like to see him in the British Premier League and uh, or Barclays Premier League sorry to uh, all you um, you know name Nazis out there and uh, yeah so let me know in the comments about the two things about what you'd like to see the future of this RTG um, out and what you guys would like to see me and Nepenthes do as a uh, series so thanks a lot guys for watching I really appreciate it there I won 3-2 and I'll see you all um, later bye bye